back or welcome if you are new. My name is Stephanie and I'm so, so, so excited to show you the first, I guess, official reveal of one of the many rooms that we have been working on in our home. It is the toy room slash the guest room. This room is so special to me because the first time that we looked at this house, we were really scared to move. And I was afraid that we weren't gonna be able to find a home that we would like because it was in a new city that we had never lived in before. We didn't have any friends or family or anything. And we walked into this house and the whole wall was like this wallpaper mural of the Tetons. Now, I'm from Eastern Idaho, which is like an hour and a half away from the Tetons. I lived there for many summers. I have backpacked and hiked and quite literally I'm obsessed with the Tetons. It is my very favorite place on earth. And aside from the birth of my children and the day that I was married to my spouse, my most precious, sacred, special memories all happened in the Tetons. So how random is it that we look at this one house that was built in 1938 and we walk in and there's a mural of the flippin' Tetons. It was kind of like a sign and I'm pretty sure that I cried the day that we looked at the house. So this room has been lots of different rooms. It has been the craft room, the junk room, the game room. And it got to the point that we were just putting so much crap in there that we would lock the door so that our kids wouldn't get in there. Just because our house has so much work that needs to be done. And that room has just been kind of like the catch-all. So I was so excited when I finally decided that it was time to give this room a purpose. So it is now our guest room, our toy room, our hangout room, our den, the art room, the lounge room. And I'm so excited to show you what it looks like, especially now that our floors are redone. We've got the painting done. Of course, we're still gonna get windows. And so the curtains are a little bit, uh, I don't know, they're a little ghetto, but um, there's still some things that we're gonna be working on, but I'm so excited to show you our Teton toy room. <laughs> Okay, let's start with this little dresser over here, which was a gift from my mother-in-law that she used to have in her toy room. And that is actually a Christmas ornament from Hobby Lobby. And then I found that fox in the Christmas section along with this greenery from Hobby Lobby. That tin can thing is from the DI a long time ago. That lamp was thrifted years ago. And then all of this decor on the wall is from Hobby Lobby. I loved this print. I wished it was a little bit bigger so it would take up more space but that's okay. I really liked the message and how it looked and I really loved that little tiny greenery, um, that little wreath that was actually from the Christmas section. <laughs> so I put the other ornament that came from Hobby Lobby on that little shelf, the mountain shelf, and then that is a picture of my husband from when he and I backpacked the Teton Crest Trail in the Tetons. The wreath on that right side that you got a little snippet of, that's also from Hobby Lobby. And then this sign, the Happy Camper, is also from Hobby Lobby. And then down below I just have some framed pictures of the Tetons from various times that I was hiking. That's another picture from a backpacking trip. And those frames are from the Dollar Tree. And I love to use Dollar Tree frames because they are so lightweight, so I can just put them on with command strips. That TV is seriously so old. I had it in college, but it has a DVD player um, attached to it, and my little girl is obsessed with the movie Annie. And so this space is so perfect because we can just cozy up on that day bed. Actually, I got that thrifted for like 70 bucks, and then we just ordered um, a memory foam slash spring mattress from walmart.com and I love it. It was 80 bucks shipped. I will link it down below if you're looking for a good affordable mattress. And then um, it has a trundle bed underneath and we just had an old mattress. So this is just kind of a, a little a glimpse of how I have the rest of the toys arranged. But um, the bed is definitely one of the best parts of this room. I have not picked out pillows and like bedding yet. So um it's still kind of a work in progress. Those curtains are just from Walmart hung with a tension rod and then I use Dollar Tree clamps to kind of clip them back. And here is a picture of that mural of the Tetons. 
I'm so glad that we never ripped it down <laughs> because we did think about it um, for like a second, which is why there's a little piece coming up right there that I need to glue down. Um, that little cradle is from when I was a kid and that's just where Cece puts her little dollies and then I store the food for the kitchen in this. I got this for like five dollars maybe at a thrift store recently and it's perfect because it's on wheels, it's lightweight, she can just toss the food in so it makes cleanup super easy. That's a thrifted banana chair. I love banana chairs. I know that they're like kind of ugly, <laughs> but they're super comfy and lightweight and easy to move around and fun to sit in while the kids play or watch a movie. And then that little kitchen at that little tykes toy was given to me from my mother-in-law. It used to be part of her toy collection. And then here is the storage cube shelf. We got this from Ikea years ago. Like like, like, like 2010 maybe. And then I scored all of the, um, those canvas bins from Walmart for a dollar each. And you better believe I was doing like a toe touch in the aisle when they were all a dollar cause they all match. And so this is just where I keep their toys. They know where they go. And then I use this tablecloth from Walmart as like a little toy mat or like a a mat to go under their art table in case they have any spills because they do play-doh and paint and markers and all that and then um, there's the little washer and dryer set and the little vacuum little Fisher Price one of my favorite um, things that I've collected from thrift stores those were both thrifted and I love the storage that is in this house there is so much storage um, and it just is so nice because I can fit a full bookshelf that was thrifted and then I've got like a little dollhouse um, the babies are all in this um, little container there that you can see that was from Target and then I have their stickers and crayons and markers a giant container of puzzles which by the way they never play with <laughs> the dollhouse just comes out and then I have all of the little people um, toys actually in a basket that you cannot see they're usually in that white basket and then I have another little basket. Those are just from the Dollar Tree. And that's filled with Play-Doh so that they can get that out and play. And then I got this basket at TJ Maxx. And it was like $5.99, I think. And um, it's perfect for DVDs. And then I have like a sleeve full of DVDs. That shelf was like a few bucks at a thrift store. Super lightweight. And then this is just our collection of games and kind of the stuff that I want to keep high up so that the kids don't pull it down, use markers on the wall, <laughs> they need a little supervision still, and then just some junk in the corner that I'm uh, still finding a home for. And then that little picnic table, it was from a thrift store, of course, and then um, that magnet board was from Ikea and I just used command strips to hang it. So these are the floors that we recently had refinished. I love them. They are just perfect for this room. I love the warmth of the wood. And then as you can see, we just love this room. It's perfect. Cece can play with her dolls. Simon likes to do his gymnastics and jump on the bed. And they're not going to hurt anything. I mean, they just have so much fun. They do their little art. They watch their TV shows. They snuggle and watch movies in the morning or at night. And it is perfect. And then it doubles as our guest room when people come to stay. So I could not be more happy with how this room turned out. I hope that you enjoyed this little room tour. And as always, things are always a work in progress. It's never quite finished. Of course, there's still things that I want to do and add and improve but so far this room is serving its purpose and I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time